Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to Platypus. Platypus is the name, and welcome to another Dragon Quest Tact video. Today, we are talking about the very, very exciting Dragon Quest IV event, which comes out later today. Um, as time of recording, it's going to come out in about 12 hours, I think. Maybe a little bit sooner. Um, maybe a little bit later. I don't know if they said exactly. Um, I don't think they said the time here. But point is it's the next big event and this event might even be bigger than like slime event and dragon quest 3 event um which would be really really cool it seems like it's going to be an event with all the uh we're, we're kind of i'm trying to try kind of trying to ignore that right now and come back and tackle that in a second um let's go to this one first i think so we can see here from a picture of the event portal that it's going to have kind of what it always does right it's going to have an event shop I can't even read it on this one. Let me let me bring it here. Um, event quest, event shop, event swap, um, and then so there's, sorry. There's going to be a battle road, a quest and swap shop, and there's also going to be more story, right? Obviously, so we're going to have that stuff. It'll be fun. So which means lots of free gems. I'm sure this will come with some sort of ex fight. Not right away. Um, I'm very excited to look at the swap shop. I'll probably do a guide for that. I do think it's weird that in the picture there's a lock on two of them, but not on the swap shop. Don't know why that is probably means nothing um but i'm hoping there's at least two orbs in the swap shop or at least over the course of the event there's at least two orbs um that'd be very nice i do think that is uh pretty gonna be kind of mandatory with the new uh amount of orbs needed you know doubling the amount of orbs needed to max a team which no one's ever gonna max their team right they just don't give you enough orbs for that but you know if they double the amount of orbs that you can use they should double the amount of orbs that they give us for free right and even then, it's still like the doubling is not equal. Because if we needed, hypothetically, if we wanted to upgrade uh, 10 units, we needed 10 orbs. Now we need 20 orbs. And so now instead of one orb a month, we get two orbs a month. It's still not 100% um, equal. But I still think two orbs is, would still be very, very nice. I do think we need it. Um, but also, in addition to that, I do think the road to Sorrow's Peak, I, I've told the P is silent. I don't know. I don't think it's Pissarro. I think it's just Sorrow, um, which is a cool bad guy name. Um, basically, it's going to have this really, really cool fight here. What, apparently, there was a few weapons that we've never gotten that were really, really important here. So this is likely going to be... This is I don't know. This might be harder for us than it was for JP, but I don't know if they had rank 6 at this point. So rank six might kind of make up for the lack of weapon if uh, that's the order it came in. But basically, this is going to be five stages um, and you have to do them all in like one long gauntlet. And so you have to use 25 different monsters, right? Which is our, which is pretty interesting in general, right? So you can't reuse any equipment and you can't reuse any monsters. So you're going to want to say, you know, have relatively weak teams to as weak as you can to kill these... Uh, four bosses or these four stages i don't know if there's 1v1 bosses or you know 5v1 bosses or if they have a full stage of enemies um but then i assume the final stage is going to be the hardest so you're going to want to save your strong kind of brute forcing teams for that probably um i don't know if this is going to be entirely free to play or not i don't know if you're going to be able to just do this free to play i don't know if there's enough units that are going to be strong enough but you know, we'll see. I'm going to mess around with it tonight. I should have mentioned I will be streaming this tonight on YouTube. You're already here. Um, if anything looks different about my setup, I accidentally, when I switched to YouTube and Twitch, so the way Streamlabs works, just really quick, Insider Baseball, is they um they save everything on the cloud of my scenes and stuff. So um, basically, I by, when I logged into YouTube, it got rid of my scenes, and I accidentally over overwrote my cloud save with my nose with my no scenes so um if anything looks like kind of off i'm just remaking stuff really quick but honestly i didn't have anything fancy anyway so there's a lot of things missing but also it doesn't really matter this one's nice simple and clean which looks identical to you guys but to me i can tell the differences anyway um yes yeah, so that I, I don't know what the rewards are gonna be for this if it's just for fun um i have no idea what any of the rewards are actually um, but obviously there's a new Alina SP scout coming as well. And the new ha hero family is going to be here. Now, I believe that these are two S units and one free to play a unit. Um, the guy on the right with the cool mustache, I believe he's an A unit and I believe he kind of sucks. Unfortunately, um, maybe he's good in some content. Absolutely. But he's okay. 
I shouldn't say unit sucks just because they're not good in arena. Thing is, he's probably terrible in arena, like unusable in arena, but he's probably um, decent in some kind of content. But uh, with two movement and a range of one, it becomes it's very difficult to use in uh, certain like things like arena. You just can't be used in arena like that because it's all about winning in two turns, right? Um, but yeah, that's gonna be it there. There's also gonna be sorrow. I don't know why they're not showing him. Maybe it's kind of supposed to be like a surprise. But there he is there on that. That's such that's one of my favorite. That's like one of the most perfect bad guys I've ever seen. Okay, um, let's see if it actually does say the rewards here big group of monsters it's just telling you what it is it doesn't tell you what you get for doing it um and other than that i don't know i don't know if there's that much else i'll probably do a guide on the swap shop later but this is really just a big ad to say that i'm going to be streaming this tonight and that i hope you guys stop by lots of new content obviously is always fun always a good thing you guys are going to wonder what this is so let's just take a look it's probably energy and uh, now I'm going to show you guys that I'm currently sitting at 163 energy. Hope that triggers you. Anyway, I've got to go to work. Per platypus is per platypus. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope to see you tonight on YouTube. And until next time, friends, see you around.